you have a patient in front of you. You're about to describe the chemo regimen to them. Most patients probably want a Metaport. One regimen, you gotta have a Metaport, that's Fulfirinox. You describe that to somebody, it's every two weeks, I'm gonna give you two drugs sitting in this chair, I'm then gonna send you home with a 48-hour infusion pump, I'm gonna probably give you a growth factor, you're gonna feel crummy for a few days, and then maybe you have a pretty good week, but maybe with some diarrhea, and then guess what, I'm gonna do it all over again just when you start to feel better. I'm gonna do that for four rounds, and I'm gonna do a new scan on you and see how you're doing versus Gemnab Paclitaxel, Gemabraxane, maybe don't need a Metaport, can get one, but don't have to have one. And the standard regimen, of course, is three weeks on, one week off. It is difficult to get full dose three weeks in a row into patients. We try, we set out that way, but very often we need to modify that. So you come, you get your treatment, takes a couple of hours, you come back a week later, get another lab, get your treatment, uh, come back a third week if you can. If you can't, there are a couple of strategies. One is to go to every other week. And there's some evidence out there that giving it every two weeks instead of weekly times three is just as effective and certainly very well tolerated. It also gives a nice break for the patient. So no home infusion pump. Uh, uh, the treatments can be given and then you go. And for most patients, pretty well tolerated. So you present those two options to patients. They have a bias about what they want uh, as well. They're similar in outcome. And of course, most patients opt not to do the pump. We, practicing medical oncologists, recognize that clinical trials are designed in a way the drugs are approved in a certain way and there is clear instructions in the product in terms of how to administer them. But it's not unusual that we try to improvise on the modality of how we adv uh, provide these drugs just to improve on the quality of our patients and try to reduce toxicities. Yes, we talked about potentially you know, changing the impact a protocol, which is the Abraxane or Albumab Paclitaxel plus gemcitabine provided at 125 milligram per meter square and 1,000 milligram per meter square, uh, three weeks on, one week off, uh, to maybe every other week. This can be definitely the case sometimes outside of the label of a second line treatment if this is a patient is appropriate. But if we go back to the, even to the frontline setting, there is another question colleagues say is, well, what about maybe I don't like to say it a lot, priming the space and providing the Abraxan even a day before. Uh, I want to highlight the regimen is not gemcitabine, albumin-bound paclitaxel, but it's albumin-bound paclitaxel plus gemcitabine, unlike what we always, you know, use the wording. And then the study that was clear instruction to provide the albumin-bound paclitaxel first as an infusion and then the gemcitabine. Now, there has been some report about maybe infusing it even a day earlier. I do not do that in my practice unless there is a clear study showing the advantage. It's not convenient to have the patient come two consecutive days to get the treatment, to premedicate twice, three weeks on, one week off. It may be of a higher burden.